now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our co-main event of the evening. Three rounds in the Victorium Heavyweight Division. Introducing first set to make his way to the cage. Fighting out of the blue corner, John Atia. How you doing? My name's John Cage Atia. I'm fighting out of Team Rockhand. Uh, mainly boxing and Muay Thai is my style. Not really a, a, a wrestler, but a counteract that with jujitsu. jitsu I'm going to be fighting Matt Douglas out of uh, Barbarian Fight League. And um, spent some time at American Top Team in Longwood, training with uh, Jose Figueroa, uh, Luigi Fiovanti, a couple of uh, notable uh, uh, pro fighters. and. Uh, just here to display my art and uh, see what uh, my wrestling counterpart has for me. So. Okay, your thoughts about getting the opportunity to be on Warrior Island? Well, basically, if they paying, I'm jumping in. So <laughs> I'm ready to go. Any any opportunity to, uh, uh, to display my art, the fight, that's what I'm here for. So. The John Atia. And Matt Douglas were actually supposed to fight about a year ago, make their pro fight against each other, but uh, there was some mishap at the event itself and they were unable to do so and both of them have been looking for the opportunity to fight each other and fortunately they're able to do it here tonight at Victorium, episode two, once again in conjunction with Global Proving Ground, talking about Warrior Island, great show with uh, promoter James Jefferson getting fighters, kind of like an ultimate fighter on an actual island, so you got, you know, kind of like that uh, survivor and fighting all working together. Once again, our rules of the cage, same unified rules as all the big boys and uh, all five minute rounds. No title fights here tonight at Victorium. We're gonna be doing some contendership stuff at episode three. And his opponent sponsored by the cage MMA, fighting out of the red corner. Matt Douglas! And listen to the crowd, ladies and gentlemen. The hometown favorite, Matt Douglas, as he makes his way into the Victoria Arena here at the Fredericksburg Fairground. Right, Matt Douglas is really the reason we're doing this show tonight in uh, Fredericksburg. The man is very well respected. Everybody knows him. There's his daughter right behind him, screaming, ranting and raving. Very supportive, loving daughter. Looking to watch her dad fight here tonight against John Atia. Let's see uh, the words that Matt has to say about tonight. Uh, my name is Matt Douglas. I'm 39 years old. I weighed in last night, the lightest I've been in 20 years, at 215 pounds. I'm um, six foot tall. Uh, I have a fighting record in the pros is one and one. Um, I've got a lot of background in uh, Sambo, Judo, Jiu Jitsu, Kempo, Boxing. I own my own school. I own my own promotion. Barbarian Fight Club is the name of my promotion where I run my amateurs through. And the name of my school is the Cave Mixed Martial Arts. Uh, this is the start of my pro fight career, really, even though I've got two fights. I did those uh, six or eight years ago. And I've been training ever since, working on my stand-up. Um, a lot of people see me as a ground guy. and I'll probably end up on the ground, but... My stand-up's better now, so I don't know how much more to say. I do want to go to this Warrior Island thing. Um, I have a lot of personality, and, and it's hard to show that to a camera, but if you can get me uh, on an island, not only can I fight, I think I'm funny too. See, another thing that a lot of fighters lack is that personality Matt's talking about. you got to really know how to talk to the crowd, talk to the camera. It's not just about your fighting skills. I mean, you can be the best fighter in the world. But uh, you don't have the personality to fall to it. A lot of promoters are not going to work with you because they want the full package. They want somebody who can fight. They want somebody who can talk. And they want somebody who can represent their promotion uh, in the best light humanly possible. So we got the tail of tape and even 215 pounds each. Uh, height advantage for John. Two or one and one for Matt Douglas. Pro debut for John Atia. And definitely Matt Douglas, like you said, he took some time off. But in the last nine years, he's done nothing but training. De definitely done nothing but get ready for his return as a pro fighter. And he makes that return here tonight inside the Victorian. Right, Matt, 
owns a production uh, called The Barbarian Fight Club, an all-amateur show in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Very successful. Uh, let's give it back up to Shane Graham. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds in the Victorium Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist standing at six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in at 250 pounds and makes his professional debut this evening. Representing Team Rockhand, here is John Kajatia! And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist standing at 5 feet 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 215 pounds, holding a professional record of one win with only one defeat. And representing the Cave MMA, here is Matt the Barbarian Douglas! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Our co-main event Oates. here at Victorium Episode 2. Scott Oates, our third man in the ring. A little hug before the before the matchup. First time we've seen that here tonight, but still a show of respect for each other and their and their skills. Three five minute rounds and the action begins. Touchy gloves. Looks like uh, definitely an unorthodox, or an un, uh, unorthodox style there on the part of Matt Douglas. Nice stepping in, switch leg kick to the inside. Oh, comes returns it with a right low kick. John put his hands down. Not the best uh, defense, if you ask me, because he can fake into a high kick. Well, that's the whole point of doing a leg check. It's a lot more effective, but hey, you know, I'm not in the cage right now. Matt's got a really open guard here with his hands. Again, that unorthodox style I was talking about. Lunges forward, just short of that, that jab there. Oh, and there's that high kick that you were talking about. Yeah, and it's nice to see a guy who, you know, fights in the heavyweight division, being able to rotate his hips to get such a high kick. You don't see that too often in the heavyweights, or even sometimes in the light heavyweight division for a lot of guys. But he did a really nice job, good technique, rotates around, keeps his eyes back on his opponent. He's really circling off. Good shot. Goes for a takedown, gets a takedown, gets into John's full guard. Definitely Matt Douglas trying to scoot him up closer to the cage, and it looks like he's going to be able to do just that. And now is John Atia is really going to have to work to try to get out of this position. Right. Matt Douglas is going to rain down some rights on his ribs. Right, good job by Matt getting him walk, crawl, you know, walking him all the way to the cage. He's breaking that guard, gets into a half guard position. John's rotating over to his right side. Not the best position to be in when you're going against the cage. Looks like Matt's attempting an arm bar there. I think that cage is preventing him from being able to step that leg all the way over and right. grab it completely. Right, so it is an advantage right now, John, but John's got to get his body turning back in towards Matt right at this, at this juncture. He's holding on, body work by Matt, keeping his uh, right knee against his back so he can't turn, so that's good work, good defensive work, offensive work. Oh, big right hands on the part of Matt Douglas. Look at him just coming down, raining down, right into the ribs, right into that sweet spot there Yeah. The John Atiyah's side. Going to back right into the kidneys. Those hurt, and they, they, they're they long-lasting pain. Good just body teeing work. off. Yeah, a lot Picking of hard his work. shots. You can see it. He is wincing hard. John is wincing hard. Looks like he just got injured. Stop. Oh, man. Breathing hard. Good work by Matt Douglas. Yeah, definitely... Uh, some unmitigated power in those in those punches. Find the mark does the damage to John Atia. And let's take another look at the action that we just saw. Here you see Matt Douglas shoot in, able to take down John Atia and gets him in the guard. And then John uh, Matt Douglas able to walk him all the way against the cage. There you're seeing him do just that. Stand kind of bent over, raining down some right hands, gonna step through. There you see he's got that knee pinned in, and like uh, Giovanni said, he's got this, his side turned away from him and allows Matt Douglas just open shots right to the ribs, right to the kidneys, and that's gonna spell the end for John Atia. 
Huge right hands. Scotty Ose was keeping a close eye on all the action that caused an end to that matchup. An excited Matt Douglas. The people from his quarter, his girlfriend there, his family, his daughter standing ringside. Lots of people here to support him. The hometown hero from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Lots of people here walking around in those barbarian t-shirts. I've seen them all day. And why not? After nine years of being inside of a cage, after the break, Matt Douglas steps right in, shakes off the cobwebs, knocks the dust off, and gets his win. Uh, a, definitely a decisive win against his competitor, John Atia. There you see the corner, the, the fans there, all of them in those gray barbarian shirts in support of that man right there. The victor of our co-main event here for the Victorium 2 episode 2 at the at the Fredericksburg Fairground Ladies and gentlemen referee Scotty Oates has called a stop to the action at 2 minutes and 28 seconds of the very first round declaring the winner by verbal submission due to strikes Matt the Barbarian all right, all right, all right, let's get Mr. Barbarian over here. Do you people not want to hear what he has to say? Come on. All right, first of all, congratulations, Matt. You know, this is a, a, this fight between you and John is a long time in coming. You guys were scheduled to fight each other about a year ago. Had some issues, uh, but it, it, it didn't transpire. And we worked hard to get you to fight this on, on this card. We're very happy to have it. You know, co-promotion between you and myself. And obviously here in your hometown, Fredericksburg, Virginia, a long time in coming. You come away with a beautiful victory. You know, as I've said, a few other fighters had a lot of things going on, and you're gonna not let me finish. Alex, where you at? Who's Alex? Alex, where's Alex? Oh, there she is. Anyway, you know, I could go on and on, but I'm sure you have a lot of things to say to your fans, your friends, your family, and everybody here at Victorium. I'm gonna give you the mic. I just want to start saying thank you to Alex's grandma. It meant the world to me for her to be here. And I want to say thank you to Danny Harmon for backing me up and finding sponsors. And all my sponsors that are on the back of these t-shirts. I gave up my jobs three months ago, quit working, started doing this, and I would not have made it here without the little bit of support that I got from a bunch of different people. Gio. Good man. All right, guys. And my family. I'm not forgetting them. I'm actually starting with them. Don, all the kids. I love you guys. Billy Wood, Greg Longstrom, Eric Crego, Jeremy Wicker, the whole cave. I mean, my God. We train like that. Ah! All right, so we're going to be passing over the mic here to James Jefferson real quick. And once again, Round of applause, Matt Douglas, for a hard-earned fight. A lot of trials and tribulations, but every now and then it makes you a stronger person. I think the Global Proven Ground family just got a whole lot bigger. We're gonna fly you overseas, we're to fly everybody, right? <laughs> hey, congratulations, you got a two-year contract with Global Proven Ground, not only to fight back here at more Victorium cards, but over in the UCMMA in, in, uh, in, in the UK, as well as in Brazil. I want to go to Brazil. There you go. Another round of applause. Here we go, the champ. <laughs> 